this time I'm just testing the GoPro in a little bit different style of vlog instead of at the beach. So I'm gonna give my review on this, like a real honest review of how it works and if I would use it to vlog and if I like it. Look how beautiful it looks today. The GoPro doesn't do it justice. test a more low light situation see how it looks what do you guys think I'm telling you you can get some gorgeous views here at Disney's boardwalk it looks amazing look at All right, so about to leave the boardwalk. Gotta go back through Epcot and then to the car and then probably to Disney Springs to get a little bit more footage. But this is just the GoPro audio and I just got it on this like little, um, I wouldn't call it a tripod, but it's just a holder. And hopefully it looks good. Obviously it's not made for um, low light situations, but let's it's just a test to see if people actually want to vlog with it or it's something that i want to vlog with or just use for like action stuff okay so this is leaving disney's parking lot um and it's a little windy not too much windy and i just wanted to use camera because there was people talking around me i just want to know if the gopro will pick it up because i feel like if you're vlogging and there's a lot of people talking around you. Hopefully it just would focus on your voice only. And of course it's still in low light conditions. And I don't know where my car is at, to be honest. <laughs> okay, this is the GoPro tested in a noisy environment again. I'm at a burger place, Disney Springs. And I'm gonna enjoy this burger, I hope. Guys, I know the GoPro doesn't do it justice. But this burger is amazing. And the fries are really good as well. But this burger is amazing. And I've said it before in other vlogs. And I'll say it again. It's amazing. I never said or showed you guys the new car fully. This is it. Nothing special. But I love it. Not, 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 not
All right, everybody. So, um, we saw some stuff on the GoPro, a little bit more, um, a little bit of vlog footage, what it would be like if you were using it, how the microphone would sound. Like I said, I don't have the adapter yet to use, um, an external mic or anything like that. This is still the GoPro. And, um, my thoughts are, it can be used. It can be used as a vlog camera, um, but it has its limitations, of course. But at the same time, you gotta remember what the purpose of the GoPro is. It's not necessarily intended to be used as a like a full functional vlog camera. Although I did see a, a video with Casey Neistat where um, somebody from GoPro was saying that he didn't understand why someone would use you know something like this carrying that around um when they could be using something like this the gopro um and to me obviously it has limitations such so as um you know it's it's not very good at um lighting when it's dark um and one thing I do, I am worried about seeing this one is the issue with the battery. Um, so I had it and I used it probably for not even that long. And it was at 90 some percent. It dropped down to 86% right away. And then um, I noticed it would, wouldn't charge up to 100%. And it stayed at 99% even though I left it all day yesterday, overnight, and today. And finally, I put I connected in my car and it went up to 100%. But I, really, I, I, I recognized that the power was draining and, I, and it wasn't even on. And I turned off everything. I looked this up. I turned off the whole um, voice command. Um, turned off even Wi-Fi. I don't have none of that turned on. Um, so I don't know why it would still be, um, you know, draining battery, I guess. So like I said, I don't know if this battery is wrong because I did um, see some reviews where people said that um, something was wrong with, with the batteries and they had to get battery replacements. So I don't know if that's an issue with this one, um, but that's, you know, and then um, I did the time lapse was it was at 80 something percent and I did a six minute the time lapse that you saw was just six minutes of recording and it went down to 60 some percent and I would hope or think that that's not the correct um, battery power I guess you could say I don't know what's the correct term to say but um, so yeah so definitely gonna have to check about the battery on this one and see that but like i said it's it's a very it's it's pretty good for what it is you know this is great if you're going to be in water I, this is great for me because i don't want to risk having my camera um get rained on while i'm out in in florida so this is good for that to switch out pull this out really quick it does do 4k um it, it does some really good stuff and it's just nice to have something this compact like I can walk around and not see people staring at me versus having this thing and people are going to be, you know, looking at you and, and giving you weird looks and stuff like that. Even here in Florida where it's, I think it's more normal and for people to be, for, to be, um, for people to be, um, you know, walking around with the cameras and stuff. Granted that we live in Disney World, but you still get looks at looked at so all I need to do is find a, a good selfie stick for this and I think it'd be okay like I would have no problem taking this in the stores you know walking around in public but I just the battery is the only my concern um and then so yeah so it dropped down and then I plugged it in and was in the car maybe for like 10 or 15 minutes or maybe less than that I don't know and it went shot back up to like 100% so I think to me something is wrong with the battery with this one so definitely something to to get checked out um but so that's my thoughts on the gopro do i think you should spend money 
I mean, if you don't need it, then I would say no. Um, but if you live in somewhere in a place where it rains a lot, where you're not sure um, of the weather conditions, what you're going to encounter, then definitely I would say go ahead and get this. There might be better options. I don't know. I haven't done my research. I know some I've seen in other videos where people have recommended like, um, I don't what's I don't want to say cheap brands but you know different brands for people to look at so and then you're always going to be able to find um other products but I would think that GoPro which is designed for that would be the best and they've improved a lot of things the stability on this thing is crazy when you're walking around you don't need a gimbal you don't need none of that stuff and you have the ability for a mic it sucks that you have to get um, an adapter but then at the same time, this is, you know, uh, action mic and you're not going to be swimming with a mic attached and, and, and or running through the rain with the mic attached at the same time either. So like it really doesn't. That's what I'm saying. You know, don't test this as a regular vlog camera or don't think expect it to perform like a regular one because that's not what you're getting. If you want that, you go pay for that or buy something like that. But I do think it's a it's a good little camera and very useful to have and it's something to have in your arsenal or, or whatever just because you might need it. So that's my review on the GoPro. We're signing off. We'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and see you guys in the next one. Peace.